Hello there again. Uh, welcome to another Beginner's uh, Guide video uh, at Arena Hacks. I'm Kyle Wagner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a whole bunch of free cards on MTG Arena. Uh, this is really good uh, for people starting out. Uh, if you're not starting out, you've probably already done this at some point uh, earlier on because they do uh, give you some codes for the store for free. They tell you some things. So if you've done the tutorial already, tutorial already, then you might already know that you can go here, type play Zendikar, then type in play Zendikar, double A, not a double A, <laughs> play Zendikar. This won't work because I've already redeemed it. Uh, unfortunately, I tried to do this recording before, but it wasn't capturing anything on my screen. So I went through typing in a bunch of codes. You just try that all the way through, play Zendikar, play M21, just literally, quite literally, it's just, uh, play M21. Yep, just like that, you hit enter, and it'll actually give you three free packs. So you go here, packs, we'll look at them all that I just got. So this was play War Spark. This one's play M20. This one over here is play M21. I just showed you, type that in there and showed you how that worked. Play Eldrain, play M20, I said that already. Play Theros, play Akoria, play M21. I said that already too, and play Zendikar I already went through. So these are it. Any set, any cards that are, or sets that are older than this, the Ra both Ravnica sets, uh, M19 and, and older, uh, their codes are outdated and uh, don't work anymore. Actually from Throne of Eldrain, Core Set and War Spark, on the website I'm about to go to, it actually says those are expired already. It says those expired in July, I believe. Where's the website here? Chrome. So here's a website I really like going to. You might want to copy down this URL up here. Uh, it is um, going to be really helpful. Uh, you come to the site, it's really good. That's why I'm showing it to you guys. They, they've they really laid out all the codes here and everything. So this is the code, what you type in. So like I said, yeah, play Eldrain, play M20, play Warspark. This is the oldest set that still gets you those three cards. As you saw, I just entered those in literally minutes ago. The recording didn't work, so I had to do it again. Unfortunately, I can't show you me typing in the code, but it's simple. You can literally copy it. And then when you go to arena to put it in, you can't, uh, if you right click, it doesn't give you the option. So you have to go control V, control plus V on your keyboard and boom, there it is. Play War Spark, enter, and you get your three packs, which I already have. Uh, so going back to that website, the, um, where I left off when I thought I was recording, but didn't hit the button, uh, I had explained that already. That's just two free levels in your mastery pass. So that's really cool. Um, I might be able to use that on my other account. I might not, I'm not sure. You can also get some experience by using the MTGA codes below. It's just that one code. I may have already redeemed that on my other account. Um, I'll probably use it on this one too. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to advance too far. If you're just starting now, Try not to advance too much in the Zendikar Mastery. I would probably, it might be okay value to actually uh, pay the gems to unlock it. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend that until the next set. So you have the entire season to uh, gain as much uh, XP points as you can. And then you can maybe even save this code for that time. Uh, and that way it'll just help you like, uh, the Zendikar Mastery Pass is ending on January 21st, I believe is what I researched. And uh, so if you calculate all your weekly wins and your daily uh, challenges, the daily challenges, because those are what you get your most uh, experience points for or XP points. Maybe it's experience. I'm not sure what it's XP is supposed to stand for. It doesn't matter, just points. Uh, so you uh, get your points, most of your points through your weekly and daily challenges. So if you calculate how many of those you get till this, the mastery ends and you think, oh, I can unlock enough uh, or I can get enough rewards that it makes it worth the 3,400 gems to unlock. But yeah, we're right on the edge right now in Zendikar where it's like you might want to wait till the next set before you pay those gems or even use this code so you can really maximize uh, how much stuff you can get out of that mastery. So here I already used this one once and I got this revitalized plus card style. So then I can go these January 1st. Yeah, these are all, they're not going to, um, 
what you call it, they're not going to uh, expire anytime soon by the looks of it. 2013, yeah, so Super Cry, let's do that one. You can also go Control C on your keyboard. So that's what I just hit there, Control C. And that basically is the same as, doing, yeah, right there, see, Control C. And then you go Control V to paste, enter, and success. Here we go, the op and an opt card style. So yeah, you can just do what I'm doing. I hit the Windows button every time to get this bar to come up because uh, Arena doesn't have like a minimize button or anything to run other applications at the same time. So you hit your Windows bat button and then you come over here to your taskbar or whatever this is called. You click on Chrome, here we go. And I can jump back and forth from my browser to Arena, no problem. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna keep going through all these guys and unlock all that stuff because you do get a at least one free card with all of that. Okay, uh, we're back here now. I just finished uh, entering all those codes in that we were just looking at. So if I go to collection here, I should see a bunch of new commons and uncommons right here. These are all the cards you got and like they all have that neat little card style to them, which all came with it as well. I got a few card styles and alternate arts and that was all it was, just the style or the alternate art. It didn't really give me a card with it. Um, and there was a bunch of lands too. Uh, yeah, let's go for lands. Basic lands. Okay, there should be some new ones. There they are. So that was the last code in that list. It gave me these three full art lands. My favorite lands always have full art for basic lands. Because, uh, you mean, you don't need this. Let's, let's give the whole picture on the whole thing. Really cool. These are, uh, this isn't my favorite mountain, nor is this my favorite island, but this is really cool. These are both really cool pictures, like them. All cosmetic, not necessary, but something I think I'd point out, you get it for free with all that stuff that I just did there. So we're gonna go back to the store. There is uh, something here I'd like to try. Not 100% if it's sure if it's gonna work. Like, I don't know how to, I'm supposed to type that in. So W, W7Y, do I have to type the dashes? I don't know. W7Y, let's just try the, everything. Y, EZ8P, 8P, uh, HR, H, H capital R, and then another H. H capital R and another H, and if we hit enter, Failure, aw. Should have put the dashes in. Maybe that'll work better. W7Y. Dash. E78. No, EZ, capital Z, I didn't use a capital before. E capital Z8P. Eight P. Maybe that was the issue, is that they didn't use a capital. H, capital R, and then another H. Another H. I'm going to actually take out this here. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to cut it, paste it. Good. That way, if it's wrong, I can just quickly put it in again and put those dashes in to see if it works. Needs the dash, maybe it needs the dash V. Maybe this code just doesn't work. Yeah, doesn't work, okay. Yeah, these are just pictures I grabbed. Uh, there was another YouTuber who opened uh, some uh, paper magic boxes and he shared these codes. I get even more reward. Additional rewards in Magic the Gathering. I'm just reading what it says on the card here. Download and redeem mtgarena.com. So am I, where else am I supposed to be entering that code? Oh, it's a capital Y right here. I think maybe that might be my... Where's all the capitals? This one Z, this one Y. All right, let's try it again. Oh my God. <sighs> Capital Y at the beginning. So let's just highlight that all and grab it on the clipboard again. 
Still a failure. Try the dashes again. So, what is it? EZ8P, I think, is the middle one. EZ8P. Z is capital, Y is capital, R is capital. Why is that? Let's try it. Failed before with no dashes. Try it with dashes. I'm just going to double check that one last time. Two dashes in the middle there. Let's try it again. Still a failure. I don't see anything I've done wrong now. All the capitals are right. All the letters are right. Everything's right. Ah! <laughs> Come on, work work for me here. So yeah. It all looks good to me, so I guess those codes are a ripoff. <laughs> or how do you redeem them? I don't know. I would assume why would they put a print a whole card? It's gotta do something somewhere. It says mtgarena.com right on the card. Oh, I have to go to the file again. I don't know where I have those. Oh no, wait, don't I have that in? Not in here, never mind. Okay. So, yeah, I took pictures there. They don't seem to work. I don't know how else you're supposed to redeem. It says MTG Arena right on it. Download and redeem mtgarena.com is what it said on the card. You can go back in the video and check out when I was reading it. This is MTG Arena. I'm putting the code in, it's not doing anything. So, unfortunately, they don't seem to do much. Um, but let's go back to that website there. Yeah, I put all these in already. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, this just, yeah, to buy paper. I don't really do paper much anymore. I just do arena because... I'm thinking about getting, there is a store located to uh, this place where I'm living at now, which I, I've only been here just coming up on a year now that I've been living here. So there is a store I just found not very far away, like a five minute walk away. So I might start be getting back into, might start to get back into paper. Uh, this channel is going to be mostly just about arena though. I'll only mention paper every now and then. Okay then, so getting back to it. Uh, we've already redeemed all this stuff, so I'm going to take an extra couple seconds here to talk about um, just what kind of times when you want to spend uh, real money on Arena. And it's just basically for these kind of deals here. Uh, my other account, I've already purchased these, so I'm not purchasing them here. I'm not going to spend any actual money on this account, which is actually going to make it a little bit more challenging for me to win the games and get those achievements to get more cards and everything but I'm taking on that challenge to try to help all of you to show you it's like you don't need to have all the best cards and rares and mythics to get yourself started. Uh, Arena seems to be pretty good at matching you up with players who you are evenly matched with. Uh, every now and then they'll put you up against a player that just annihilate, it, it was just a bad match. They, they shouldn't, have, shouldn't have put you with that guy, but I mean, nobody's perfect, right? So they do their best to make sure we are playing against players who are on our level. And like I said, they, they do a good enough job at that. It sucks the random time when you kind of get that bad matchup, but it doesn't happen often. So yes, I would recommend buying these. That's a great price. 2,500 gems for five bucks is ridiculous. You go look at your gem packs and prices. This here is 200 gems per dollar. Like 200 gems per dollar. That's it. Or, or that's it. That's the best deal you get. Uh, and that you have to spend $100 to get that deal though. You buy this, I need a calculator in order to figure out uh, what that would uh, what that would be. So let's just do it. 2,500 divided by, it costs what, five bucks? Oops. Five bucks. That's 500 gems a dollar. That's two and a half times a better value. And you only have to spend five bucks, but you only get it once. It's just this one here is when you're new to Arena, you just sign up your account. They give you this deal once, you buy it once, that's it. You get that many gems for that good a deal, but you also get five packs. Five packs of cards with it. Highly recommend you buy that. I did. No regrets. Just buy it. <laughs> uh, stuff like this too. You got a lot of cosmetic, this avatar here. 
and then this card style here. So I don't really put any value on that. This I did buy. This is a one-time thing. They do it every now and then. They come out with where you get, it's usually about 3,500 gems and then an avatar and a card sleeve. So if I bring my calculator back up, and we go there. So this time we've got, what is it, 3,500 gems. And what is it, 15 bucks. Definitely nowhere near as good of a deal on the gems. And you're not getting any packs. But that's still 233 gems per dollar. Per dollar that uh, I'm getting with that deal. So that's still an extra 33 gems per dollar more. And I only have to spend $15, not 100. <laughs> so uh that's yeah again both these we'll see what new ones of this there was another one a while ago that i didn't buy because i was being extremely frugal and it was a little while after that i'm like you know what these one-time deals that they come up with like they're pretty good they usually give you good value and when i think about it if i were to buy every one of these deals every year that they come up with i'm probably going to be spending um well, just these one-time deals, not much. There are pre-orders that are one-time deals as well for a new set. So, example, when Zendikar came out, there was two, one with a bunch of draft tokens, a Liliana Planeswalker, card style, some things. The other pack came with, uh, I think, 50 packs of Zendikar, plus a different Planeswalker card style, and a few things like that. I'm not sure if any one of them came with any gems or not. But either way, I bought the one with all the packs. You don't have to get both of them. But if I get one of those pre-order deals, every time a set comes out, there's four sets a year, that's 200 bucks a year. Plus, if I get all these part-time deals, these, these one-time timers here that are also really good, I'm probably gonna be spending a total of maybe five or 600 bucks a year on MTG Arena. Compare that to what I used to spend when I played paper, doesn't even compare. Doesn't, like, and the amount more cards I'm getting for spending that much, like it's just, yeah, like this this digital stuff, that's why I play it so much more. It's There's so many advantages to it that you just can't get on paper. Um, uh, the Vault, which you don't see in this account, uh, I did show you, uh, I mentioned that in a video, one of my other videos. Uh, so go check that out. And uh, I believe it's in the other uh, beginner's video here, the first one, the introduction, beginner's intro. I do mention the Vault and what it is. Uh, you won't see that for a while, though. It takes a while to unlock it for the first time. And even then, like I said in that other video, I don't recommend you do unlock it because then you can't monitor it until you unlock it again. So just wait till the second unlock and you can always keep an eye on it and see what its progress is doing. But uh, other than that, I'm just gonna go open these packs here. And uh, actually, you know what? I'll just do, I'll include that in this video too. I'll just open these packs right here for you guys to show you everything that's going on. Unfortunately, you know what? Maybe I won't open all these packs. It's a lot. Uh, when you have 10 of one pack, you can click open 10 and it, it gets through it a lot faster. But this will take a while for me to go through all these packs. So I'll definitely open them uh, before I continue on uh, with these uh, tutorial videos. But uh, yeah, I'll just do a couple here for you. So, okay, we got a nice little vehicle there. Okay, so that's interesting. I knew I saw vehicles before. Uh, Kaladish came out. I've done a, a draft or two for that. And there's a lot of vehicles in that. It's a big artifact set. Um, and I'm like, I know I've seen vehicles before. Where have I seen them before? War of Spark. That's where I've seen them before. War of the Spark. Decent stuff there. It's an old set. Uh, the set that was most recent when I first started Arena was uh, actually... Theros, and it was right near the end of it too. Like I think I, I was in Arena about two weeks, and then a, oh, excuse me, and then a Coria was released. So I, I just caught the end of Theros when I got into Arena. Lots of interesting cards. We'll open the last War Spark. So these are all historic too. Some of these that have been reprinted. Um, I can't see any here that I think have been reprinted. So if, if you get ones that have been reprinted, they'll still be valid. Uh, like Opt. Opt is in a lot of old sets, but it's also been printed in a lot of new sets. So it's still valid in, uh, in standard play. But this set here, uh, anything that's not been reprinted will only be uh, historic. So Pacifism, that's an archaic card. I, the first copy of Pacifism I ever saw was when I was like 16 years old. That was 17 years ago. <laughs> 
that's when I first got into Magic, by the way. Uh, obviously, no digital form. The arena didn't exist then. There was no digital forms of Magic back then. It was all paper. So, yeah. And uh, I remember the art uh, of pacifism back then. It looked a lot different. So that's a good example of what I'm talking about. And there's still, there's newer sets that reprinted it. So it's still a standard card. It's still valid and standard. Okay, well, I'll get to opening these um, later. Uh, it's not really too important to just open packs and get your cards and put them into your decks. So uh, that'll be it for this uh, free card video. As you can see, I got a lot of free cards. I opened my three War Sparks. There's three of these. I opened one already, the M20s. So what is that? Three, six. Oh, I calculated this already. 24. 24 packs. 24 packs. Each pack contains... What does each pack contain again? Five, six, seven... Yeah, five commons, two uncommons, and a rare. So that's five, six... So that's eight times 24. That's how many cards you're getting for free just by entering all those codes. Really cool stuff. So if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, I've only got one other uh, beginner's intro, but I'm going to be working a lot on those right now. Um, just keep doing more uh, beginners and intro tutorials like this one. So if you don't know about this stuff and you just got started in Arena, this would be critical, like getting all these free cards. So once again, uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.